When I was young, I did not know much about God. I did not care how much He loves me. I tried to do all things by myself, but they were bad. I was selfish with others, even with my family. When they were doing house chores, like cleaning or helping each other, I never helped them. I did not care about other people. It was all about me. My mom was crying day after day and night after night, asking God for help. One day, I passed by her room, and my mother was kneeling by her bed, crying. I heard her ask God for help. She wished that I could change my character. I did not understand why she wanted to change my character. I felt good that way. I was the most rebellious child in my family. My sister was very calm in comparison to me. I started to observe her and how she did things and how she behaved with other people. Somehow, I wanted to be like her, but at the same time, I wanted to be myself. Those days and nights, I thought about changing, but it was difficult for me. About the same time, I started to assist the Sunday school. At first, I did not know how to behave and talk with the other kids. They talked to me. I was hostile and often saying, do not get near me. One day, in biblical studies, I heard one story that impacted my life. It was the story of David and Goliath. That story touched my heart. How could David defeat Goliath with a sling and stone? It was amazing. I started to like going to the biblical studies, and my mom was happy to see me like that. Somehow, I was starting to feel something in my heart. I do not know what happened to me. I just wanted to hear the stories of how God did many things. I grew close with my mom and also with my sister and my other family. I had friends, but they were bad influences, and that was not good for me. I started to go to church and met other children. I did many things with them. They were adorable and their parents wonderful too. One day, I entered my friend's house. Her parents asked me if I wanted to stay with them because they were going to have a Bible study and prayers. I felt good when they asked me and I rapidly said, yes, I want to. They were preparing coffee and the room arrangements, so I helped them. The study began it was about how God listened to people in whatever situation. People started to tell some examples about how God helped them in bad circumstances in their lives. They said, we can tell him things that we do not want to say to other people. To talk to God is the very best option because he's a true friend and faithful. One person told me that God is always there for me in happiness, sadness, and difficult moments. I learned that the one who could change me was God, because with God all things are possible. I felt something and tears came out. That day I realized that I needed God. I wanted Him to be in my heart, because He is my life, the way, truth, hope, faith, and a true love. I told my friends that I wanted to receive God in my heart. We prayed, and I repeated what they were saying in tears. When I finished the praying, I felt good. There was peace in my heart. That day I received God in my heart. I keep in my mind those words, that with God all things are possible. Those words are amazing. I always remember those words. They are so powerful. I started to tell God what was happening in my daily life. I knew that He knew what was happening. But the desire to tell him my problems and when I was happy or sad motivated me. I felt love when I knew that he was listening. I became a Christian and my life changed completely. I can say I believe in God.